So we have concluded showing you the basics of animation. We'll just walk you through this, uh, show you what we did animate. Um, we do need to talk about now how we save this file that we just animated. Um, so here's the deal. Um, in Photoshop, by default, you obviously have probably learned how to save as files. Um, and when I go to save my files, um, a PSD file is going to save all of our source work, which is wonderful. Um, there is an option here to save a GIF file, but usually that is not the way that we want to save an animated GIF. Um, so here's the process that we're going to take. We're going to go to File, Export, and then we're going to say Save for the Web. And by default, um, usually it will give us a 4-up um, preview, but your Photoshop may actually give you either original, optimized, two up, or four up. It just allows you to see multiple variations of this image. So of course we created this image so that it would animate. Um, so a JPEG is not going to do us any good. Um, right here is the option for GIF. Okay. Um, this GIF image basically um, has a lot of default settings already set for it. So right here is the colors. Um, if you're looking to reduce the file size, if it happens to be really large, sometimes reducing the colors will help you out with that. Um, other than that, the big um, options that you want to be aware of, um, we do want to talk about um, whether or not you want um, this to play. And um, you will see right down here at the bottom, let me expand this just a little bit. You will see this little play button so we can watch our animation one last time. Um, and then you do also have the option, remember I added that pause at the end, so it's showing that pause. So right now it's showing forever. Here's the option if you only want it to animate once, and then other will allow you to dictate a different number. Okay, so that is an option for you. Um, in some rare cases, you may want to change the size afterwards. Um, there's some options in here that you could change further beyond the document, but in most cases we're not going to need that. So we'll say save, and then we'll go ahead and save it right here into this folder. And then we will take this GIF, and you can see it through um, a lot of like browser finder windows we do have the option where it's previewing it just by clicking on it without opening it. Um, but if you want to absolutely, with certainty, make sure that it opens, open it up in an internet browser like Chrome or Firefox, and then it's going to play for you. Okay, so that is the best way to test. Um, you do want to make sure that your GIF not only works in Photoshop, but that um, your file actually opens up in an internet browser, um, because that is the most common way that we're probably going to view it online is going to be in something like Chrome or Firefox or perhaps in an email or on social media which also is through internet um, browsers. Okay so hopefully that helps you out. Um, if you guys have questions don't hesitate to reach out.